I've always loved moths. As a child, I'd love chasing them through the long grass. I'd never done a moth trap before I started working here. Um, so I'd only ever seen the occasional nighttime moth by chance. So to actually come here and see them all in the morning, I had no idea what to expect. It's non-destructive and it's also, it appeals very much to the, uh, the lazier end of the, the ecology market in that you set your moth trap up, set it up in the evening and you come back in the morning and, and see, see what you've uh, uh, captured. All the moths will be sort of uh, resting on your egg boxes in, in the trap and you can go through those and identify them and keep a, keep a list, which is something we've been doing at Woods Mill, more or less a continuous monitoring since about 1995. So we're looking at about 30 years. As the year went on, we started finding more and more interesting species. I can't give you a, a number off the top of my head of the, the number of species that have been recorded here, but I do know it, it's around about seven to 800. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great place for moth trapping. It's just amazing to see the variety of different colours and patterns that you get, the camouflage on them. Moth trapping is a really great way of engaging people as well because if you've never seen a moth trap, as, as Millie will testify, you get a really close encounter with all sorts of species that you've just never seen before. You can get a, a really good close look at them and yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great way of enjoying moths as well. For me, I think the moment was when we found the first poplar hawk moth that I'd ever seen. I'd never seen anything like that before. They are the most amazing looking moths. They're huge. They've just got such cute little faces as well. So yeah, they've become my favorite moth. 